<coughs> Hello, welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. It's a channel update. So my uh, Ford Cortina 600D, I want to get this framed. I might try and get around to it this week. Get around to see the guy in Cumbernauld. I think it's probably what I'm going to do. I wonder if I should leave the ring binder marks on. I think so, yeah. Well, you can see that the pencil line down there, the straight line going down the middle. Um, so, there. Do you know what? It doesn't matter. With it being white, it's difficult to like hide it. Um, the little flaws like that doesn't matter. You know, it's not the sort of art I'm doing. It's more about substance than quality. The Rover 800, uh, that Rover 800, I really like them. You know, I did them for somebody and then they lost interest. And then they told me they'd sold the car and I knew then they weren't going to pay for them. And I never even pushed them for the money. I'm no messing about with people. So I, if MD wants me to do art, I usually just ignore them. Because um, if, if you really seriously want somebody to do art, you just offer to pay them, you know. And if you're not going to do that, you're just messing about. You know, you don't want to do something and somebody says, oh, I don't like it, this, that, and the other. You know, I wouldn't put myself through that. Um, I don't need to, actually, this is another thing. That's Robert. He's a friend of mine I've known for years. Well, he's uh, Vauxhall Sophia over the roof, but he's still got that car. It's a bit it's sort of dark and gloomy, that that drawing. I think it's it's got... It's got, there's something about it that, that, that is quite. I'm not sure it's. This is the drawing. I had this on my table. I had, I had prints of it in frames, and this guy that I'd known for a while came up to me and he looked at it and he says, "Do you know that's fucking shite?" And I was actually, I've never really spoke to him ever again. Yeah, I, I admit I am sensitive, you know, and I had such a emotionally unintelligent thing to say, you know. That he, he doesn't know anything about art and he thinks he can tell me my drawing's shite. But it's funny as well at the same time, you know? Because, you know, you should never get too big headed. Maybe he's right. Or maybe to him it's shite. But I would I would say he doesn't know what he's talking about. Um, I don't like him now. I, I haven't spoken to him since because. I didn't fall out with him. I just says, oh well. I just think you can't. If, you've got, if you're going to criticise stuff, you've got to back it up. You know? Have some kind of critique, that's fine. But to say someone's shite, it's actually ignorant. And it just shows you didn't know anything about what he's talking about. Never mind, stop going on about that. That's Jack and the Jam Man. The Jam Man's dead. He died of COVID, him on the left. And Jack is still going. He's from Newcastle, him on the right. The Jam Man was, oh, he was some character. I mean, he was in his 80s when, when I was working next to him. This was at White Market. He was just like really mad. You know, like, but he was really horrible as well. There was one time he pulled up there and he started taking bits off somebody's car. Honestly, he was just such a, like, I don't know. I actually, look, I didn't know that much about old people at that time. And uh, this was about 2018. Last time I've seen him, would have been, he was, he, he, for some reason, he was, what he would do is he, he would go, he was called the jam man. And he'd sell jam and honey and everything. And then we we caught him coming out of Tesco. So he was buying, he was buying jams and stuff in Lidl's, and putting his own labels on it. it was, he was so bent, and I think he he for some reason took ill will to me because he thought I'd reported him, which I hadn't. You know, uh, he just had it in his head that I had. Uh, he was a really strange guy. I did. I gave. He was the sort of guy you could do lots of things for him, and it it, it just didn't seem to. It was just a strange one, like definitely. And then when he died, Jack came there on the right. Jack. He sent a wreath to his funeral. The reason that the jam man died was, we were all told to stay in, and he had all these vulnerabilities, and he carried on doing markets because he thought he was a. Important member of society selling jams, and he was he, he actually. I think he picked up COVID. Well, you know, the whole COVID thing, right? But he did die, and that was about the height of the pandemic he died. Anyway, Jam Jack sent him a reef, and then that's when this guy turned up at the market and said, Oh, I was getting I was getting the fags cheaper 
for this for the German man, I'm devastated about his death because he was getting fags cheaper, and it turns out he was stealing. He was stealing fags off him <laughs> <laughs> and selling them. <laughs> oh, aye. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> Some strange characters I meet. I've met in my life. That he was horrible, the German man. I'll say that quite honestly. I don't really care what MD says to me about that. It's the truth. Uh, he was horrible to me anyway. Right, let's have a look at the comments. Uh, I was, I was, there was somebody on the, the bike lane thing. You know, there's this guy. What is it? Where is it? Let's find it. The bike, cyclists are full of crap, you know. Don't get me wrong. I don't mind cycling. I've got a bike. But it's not, it's like everything else. Uh, it's not a replacement for, you know, this is a lunacy of what they're doing. They're sort of trying to replace, or they have this fantasy that we're all going to use bikes. Uh, I can't even find it. Uh, ah, here we go. Cycle lane on the pavement, it, it's intermittent, something is good, something is terrible. And I said it's a pointless waste of money. This guy comes in. Rail tracks to buildings only work for limited things, blah, blah, blah. So this salad gold rancher, what a moron. Bikes are much more than a leisure practice. That logic is destructive. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? What are you talking about? True, motor vehicles provide a value, but they are just a tool. Imagine using a hammer to toss a salad and not a probate tool, eh? Bikes are a fine mode of transportation. Most motor vehicles convey a person and their pocket belongings, not an appropriate use of a motor vehicle. He's got a point there, uh, if you've got one single person. But then we're back to COVID again. You know, it's, it's like you go on a bus and get COVID and you die. So we're, we're being told to get away from people. So the best way to do that is travel to work on your own. You know, and, and things like that. So it's like, and why, why would I want to go on a bus full of drug dealers? Uh, you know, or, or alcoholics or pickpockets so I can go in my own car and lock the doors. Right? Anyway, right, so... It, so I said our civilization runs on oil and motor car. Your extremely narrow and biased opinion counts for nothing. It would appear you fundamentally misunderstood how commerce works. I would assume you work for the government where money is free, but it has to come from somewhere. So then he goes, let's compare. I made a logical argument based on facts. You made an argument based on personal attacks. It's like, no. It's, so the, the annoying thing about this moron, this, let's have a look at this idiot. Did I block him or have I done it yet? No. I don't think I've blocked him. He's got no videos, you know. So he's an he's a idiot, right? Absolute idiot. Nascent balloon. You know. Right, so let's have a look what we got. Uh, there's, there's nothing to look at. So he's gobbing off his big gob, but he doesn't do anything. You know? Um, I mean, the thing with bikes is that... So they don't like me talking about this, but they've spent billions on that bike lane, and it doesn't seem to suit cyclists, cars, truck drivers, the people that live there. It only seems to suit a very small minority of cyclists. And even then, I don't think it serves them that well. So it's all like... So because, because I'm asking questions, I'm causing trouble. Ask where's our billions of pounds gone? So you you know salad gold rancher, you're a moron, right? Absolute moron. Your your, your comments weren't based on logic, based on, but right. Put it this way: imagine your your pipes burst in your house. If you're in, you know even if you rent it or own it, it doesn't matter. You phone up the plumber. Do you think the plumber's going to come on a push bike? So you know, this guy, he's stuck in the past, you know. So it's like, you know. Imagine the heating engineer comes round. Is he going to come on a push bike? So, all right, can you do that job today? No, because I, I don't have a van. I've came on a push bike. I wasn't able to carry my tools on the push bike. I've only got a spanner with me. All oh, right, well, can you not bring the tools with it? Yeah, I'll need to go and get the van because the push bike's no bloody use. You know, it's, it's things like that. Or what about Amazon deliveries? Right, so we've got the, you know, uh, you know the, the head officer, if it's in Dunfermline, Right, imagine you sit, you're in Stirling, or Bridge, imagine you're in Dunblane, you, you buy something, right? You're buying sanitary pads or something, right? Or uh, you're in, in, incontinence pads, you know, because you've been cycling too much. So you just press the button, right, where are they? All right, they'll be with you in three weeks' time. So they're getting delivered by bike. 
know, so somebody's cycling from Dunfermline with the with the sun with the incontinence pads, and they're going to deliver them in three weeks. To, you say, where the fuck are they? I need them now. Oh well, it takes time. You know, so that's all these. I know that sounds like what I've said there is probably a bit of a mad story, but it, it, I hope you get the message. We need things now. We can't wait. Infrast- so basically, what this idiot, this solid gold rancher who's said he's making logical arguments based on facts, he's talking a lot of shit. He wants us to go. If they could be honest, the, the fact of the matter is, people like him, they don't know that they're actually advocating that we go back to the dark ages. They don't know that, that that's what they want because that's what they're saying. Anyway, let's move on from that. Let's go and see if there's any snotograms. This is all live because I haven't looked at them already, so you get my reaction as I look at them. I bet... <laughs> Nick Andrew. I bet he doesn't drive a BMW as he makes proper use of his indicators. Uh, what's happening here? All oh, right. Good point, yeah. That's nothing wrong with that comment. That was blocked. Don't know why there was a word that was blocked. It's no BMW. Good comment. That's fine. Right, Alice says so she believed it was you. She made a mistake. If we all turn a blind eye to the monster who live later around the country, will be a shithole. All right, okay. This is when the w- woman had a go at me um, because she thought I'd dropped letter. At least she had the guts to say something. Uh, she believed it was you. She made a mistake. I don't know. If we all turn a blind eye to once we leave letter around the country, we'll be a shithole. Well, the country is a shithole, Stephanie. Um, that's what I'm doing. I don't think that's some abusive comment. Um, she's probably got a point, yeah. I think the fact of the matter is that I'm, if you're sitting in a car minding your own business and somebody comes up gobbing off to you, uh, you know... I've decided I'm not going to be bullied anymore. So I've had situations where I've been filming and I've had people come up to me and I didn't film them out of manners. I'm not going to do that anymore. So, you know, at the end of the day, the, the rubbish that was lying there, she could have picked that woman. This video, right, we'll, you know, I'll, talk, I'll, see what, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So the video... Um, litter. There's a pub, right? It's not my litter, is it? Let me get my phone and I'll record you as well. No, you won't. You saw me what? You saw me picking up tins. So, do you think I should pick... Is that your rubbish or No. I'll spare you nothing. Well. <laughs> what an idiot you are. It's not a car park, it's private property. So what? It's not my litter. Okay, then yeah. that's why you're crushing cans right there, then. Yeah, you see me crushing cans. So, actually, what I was actually doing there was I was actually picking up litter. <laughs> Um, you know, so um, I was actually picking up letter, but she was mistaken. So yeah, I was probably got a point. I think I'll just accept that one. Uh, if it annoys me, you know. So that's it. That's not a grams over. I wasn't really much the other day. Nothing really too abusive. It's uh, a bit of disappointment. So I've got Stockholm Stockholm syndrome. Uh, oh, there's more. There's more published. What are you for? Uh, uh, oh, these are... Are these held for review? Or published? What are you for? What does that mean? Uh, blocked words. Oh, oh, they're all blocked. They're all blocked. Oh, sorry, there's lots of snotograms. What are you for? Uh, that's a bit of a stupid thing to say to somebody, isn't it? William Mitchell. I bet you he's not funny. What does William do? Oh, no videos, William. William Mitchell, you've no videos. And you're asking what I'm for. <laughs> you know? Uh, right, this Tyrene. Oh, this is nonsense. You are d- deluded, mate. Every study under the sun shows that cycling is good for society or driving loses sight. No, that's, not, that's not true. Every country around the world, driving is subsidised. Oh, that's not true. That's nonsense. Driving subsidised. I'm paying what three hundred odd pound road tax for my Volkswagen, and then two hundred and thirty for the. And then I pay tax on the fuel. I pay, I pay for tax on everything. And a fair world cyclist would be get paid to ride. Well, ta- 
<laughs> well, driver's taxes would need to multiple times higher. Well, they are multiple times higher, you stupid cow. Because that's just how damaged drivers to society's finances. She's like, she's totally bonkers. That woman is like a woman? Nina Williams. Uh, whoever, whatever. 15 videos. Oh, it's all gaming. It's gaming shit. Oh, what a moron. It's all ga See, I, I mean, you know, gaming's all right. I, I'm not really into gaming, but what am I going to do? What am I doing wrong here? Four years ago, nine years ago. So you're doing gaming videos? Resident Evil? You're an idiot. Nina Williams, you don't know anything. You're a moron. Absolute moron. You, you're deluded, mate. Every study on this one shows that cycling is good for society. While well, driving loses the society money. Every country on the world. I don't know whether it... <laughs> I don't know whether... Uh, uh, I don't know how to answer that one. It's so unbelievably false, it's unreal. Uh, it's just how damaging driving is to society's finances. She's another one that wants to go back to the dark ages, but she doesn't know it. What would we do with that one? We'll just uh, approve that one. It's so dim, it's unbelievable. We'll approve it for now. Uh, what are you for? I think we'll just... That's rude. I'll just dump that. Oh, Right, see it in both lanes again if you're not sure, take both lanes. This is blocked. Oh god, I fell fucking sorry for you. You've just got two lanes for some and I've got four fucking lanes in it in the airshow, so stop moaning, come on. Uh, that's a stupid comment. Swimming for life, you get about right, that's the gate ones that yeah, that's good. There's nothing wrong with that. I was blocked. I don't know why it was. Oh god, I feel sorry. You've just got two lanes for me, man. I've got four fucking lanes. I uh, will just approve it. Of course, when I'm moaning about these lanes and things, I'm obviously having a laugh, of course. Albert Patterson. I thought it was the only guy who used the word dumpling. Good on you now. I know you're not a dumpling yourself. <laughs> well done, Robert. Uh, uh, sorry, Albert. Albert Patterson. Could be related, I've got a lot. No, probably not. I'm ha I've, I've got more Patterson relatives than I have anything else. Mm. Never mind that. Shut up about that. Right, Natasha, 26. British BMW with no indicators at Chesa. Don't get your knickers in a twist over this. It'll marginalise you and let you won't be as effective as someone with a clear mind. <laughs> uh, uh, don't get your knickers in a twist. It'll marginalise you. Uh, Natasha, I don't, <laughs> I do not have a clear mind. So we can we make? You've got no. Oh look, stockings. Oh yeah, okay, right. I know that's that's stockings, suspenders, high heels. Yeah, it's a it's a cross dresser. Oh, you could call me Tasha or Natasha. It's my tea girl name. All right, so you're a stockbroker during the day. Asshole Arab dad versus ransom. High heels forever. Oh, it's fetish. Uh, getting hard ones over heels and it's basically what this is, and it, it, it's an inability. It, the devouring mother kind of causes this, where uh, men they 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 don't quite. So the, the the sexual attraction morphs in itself. So they instead of getting a woman and getting intimate with a woman, they get intimate with a. A, fan, a sexual fantasy of a woman, which is the you know the it's the high sex drive has to go somewhere, so it's the testo testosterone that's floating through the male body has to go somewhere, and well, it's been made so difficult. We're looking at AI in the future. You might be able to get if you're wealthy enough, you can just get a robot woman, and you won't have to put a bin in the nagging. You won't have to put the bins out. You won't have to listen to any shit. So I mean, um, a, you know, a CD TV world. You know, this is all. Ah, yes, cross dressing stuff. Uh, so, I mean, there's like quite a lot of men attracted to this type of thing. Um, first steps to, towards voice feminization. Obviously, I gave up on that shite. How to tuck for drag. Well, that's getting your dick, you know, hidden away. Blouses. 
Uh, I think I've seen enough of this, actually. <laughs> no, get it off! Fucking hell! Jesus. Um, <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Don't get your knickers in a twist. So it will marginalise you and later you won't be as affected as some of their clear mind. I mean, and you're the one that's got fucking... Uh, transvestite porn on fucking YouTube. Well done, Natasha. I think we'll just... We won't block it because it's funny. I love he's not allowed... So, I need to answer this one, actually, but I don't have time to do it, because I'll need to answer it properly. So, this video here, Steve Peebles, has asked a question, and um, he's a reasonably intelligent person. I've seen him before, but he might be a bit of a nimby. I don't know. I went to His daughter went to college with me. Uh, middle class. Middle class married man. Um, international, see, it's an international furniture transport going through... The, in the A9, going through plane, if Edmund's son... Right, Edmund's so, son, uh, just um, to explain to everybody else um, that our law is not allowed to play. So I said, yes. It's a short... So it's taken out of context. You know, what my point is that we shouldn't have bike lanes, sleeping policemen and 20 miles per hour fake speed limit zones on, a, on an air road. That's my point, 100% point, point. and he's misinterpreted what I'm saying, he's kind of like, understandably misinterpreted it, but it's because it's a short, it's a, it's like sound bites for politicians, you know, um, you might, they'll put something on and you've missed a bit of it out, so you don't get the whole context, so what I'm saying Steve is uh, that I don't believe that A roads should have such nonsense on it. And it's actually illegal. The reason that they've made these fake 20 miles per hour limits, they're not enforceable. And the bike lanes, which is in the A9, obviously, at Causeway Head, is because uh, they haven't done proper, uh, they haven't followed the legislative pra practice and statutes that have been set for, you know, for hundreds of years. They've just bypassed them. And uh, so that, so yeah, so the, the argument that, think of the children, but the children's parents have got to have a job Society's got to function, so we've got to think of the children. The children should be kept away from air roads, you know, and we shouldn't definitely not have sleeping policemen on air roads. That is absolutely appalling. Who the fuck passed that idea? You know, the, the other stuff, maybe you could kind of cope with it a bit. Sleeping policemen on an air road, you know, they should be they should be sued for that. Whoever agreed to do that should be sued for loss of time, loss of wages, loss of earnings, businesses collapsing. There's a bigger picture needs to be looked at. I'll try and answer that question, Steve, in a more intelligent manner. Show the hidden. We're into the hidden bit now. This is taking 22 minutes. <laughs> Mate, the cunts on that roundabout are mad. Hmm. Shouldn't really be swearing. Um, yeah, I'll just approve it now, but I probably will get rid of that one, actually. You shouldn't really say C-U-N-T-S. It's just for other people. I don't actually mind it, really, as long as it's not directed at me. So there you go. That's, um, it's not a gr Right, quick look at the analytics. Uh, we'll get going. I feel a bit better now. I've had two coffees. I'm feeling a bit depressed this morning. I'm, I actually got a headache. I did too much at the weekend. Right, the top video. Wow! 97,157! That's amazing. Uh, police camera safety unit with road rage. Um... Last 60 minutes, 106 views. That's absolutely mind-boggling. That video is nearly at 100,000 views. Uh, I, can't, I can't believe that. I mean, is that good for somebody that's on YouTube? There's is it? Um, police safety camera unit. Wow. It's going to... Oh, I don't that. Whoa! And then peep back. <laughs> There's, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, safety camera unit. Right, so that's the channel update. It's taking a bit longer than I expected. It should be about 20 minutes. Uh, so I was up at Pern Hall last night looking at the building works. Uh, you know, I'm keeping going with it. 1575 subscribers. Uh, I seem to enjoy doing them. I know some of them are pretty shit. What about five? There's a lot of the shit videos get watched. <laughs> but, you know, I don't know what to do about it. Oh, keep going, I suppose. Right, so let's have a last look at the drawings and then we'll go. The Jaguar. Mmm. There you are.
So maybe I'll start with taking them down to that guy in Cumbernauld and get them out. And then I'll see how they are and then I'll get a load of them done. It'll cost me about a £1,000 to get, you know, all these these ones done. I mean, there's loads, there's hundreds of them in there. Well, you know, in the, there's there's a few. Um, there's a few. We'll just pick out a random one. Oh, it's upside down. Had to be upside down, didn't it? I'm needing a bit of enthusiasm. So, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye!